everyone and good morning it is saturday <laughs> september 12th cheers so you're not going to see my face today uh honestly it'll feel like dressing up <laughs> and putting on makeup i'm still in my jammers and it's a very rainy day outside so yeah Mama's gonna stay in her PJ and just loaf about. Actually, I'm not gonna loaf about. I'm going to art my little silly grin out. I'm gonna keep on working on this piece, which I have not filmed the beginning because I didn't think it was going to amount to anything. Which brings me to today's subject. I wanna talk about how I handle my funk periods or my lack of mojo. Um, here's the deal. Whenever I have to work on a long project and it, it takes me a while um, or longer than expected, what the way I deal with that is I, um, I give it all my all and I forget everything else. And then once that's finished, I have usually a very, very long and painful down period. Um, not down like, oh, woe is me and I don't know what to do. It's more like my energy has been s spent and I have a hard time recharging. And um, I don't have a lot of outside influence. I live on my own and um, I live, um, I work from home too. So I don't go out much and that's okay. Don't, don't feel sorry for me, please. Um, I'm just telling you what works, what what happens, and how I handle this situation. Because I'm sure I'm not the only one. So, um, so I've been working on a project that should have taken a month, ended up taking three months um, due to a whole bunch of things happening all at once, mechanical failure, technology, um, you know, having to learn new uh, software and all that. And um, it has taken its toll on me. So whenever I do a long project like this, when I'm done, I go through a serious, serious lack of mojo. I just can't seem to want to do any, I do want to do things, I just don't know how to tackle what I need to do. I didn't mean to do this leaf like that, but it will stay like that. So, um, how do I handle this? Well, um, my first instinct, which I'm sure is the same as everyone else, is to berate myself and say, oh, come on, Cece, you can do this, you got this. But the problem is the more I talk to myself that way, the worse it gets. Now, I don't know how that is, but that's the way it is for me. So I came to the conclusion, and I kind of discovered that very recently. I don't know what I'm doing with this leaf, honestly. Um, I figured out that the word, the more I was trying to talk myself out of it, the worse it got. I would, um, you know, try to reason out with myself while doing housework. Uh, you know, like chores and stuff like that, cleaning, uh, reorganizing, or just plain sitting in front of the computer and watch everybody else create, which is another um, toughie. But I came to the conclusion that you need to give yourself that time to loaf about. Because the more you get unhappy with yourself the more you try to take your to try to talk yourself out of that funk you're just prolonging 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 I think um, you're just extending <laughs> that period of uh, unproductivity so I came to the conclusion that I needed to to give myself permission to not do anything. Yesterday, I was having a very unproductive day. I'm gonna keep on doing this here. Um, and it just wasn't working, wasn't working. And I thought, you know what? Okay, this is how I need to handle it. This is how my body is telling me, look, you're exhausted. You've given it, you know, you're all for a long time. 
time to take a breather, go ahead and watch TV or go ahead and, and you know, spend your day uh, looking at YouTube videos. And that's what I did. And so that's after like a full week of me trying to talk myself out of that funk. Um, I have a lot of projects on the go, have a lot of projects that are started. Um, I didn't know how to finish them. Um, it was just a mess and the more I tried to walk in the right direction, uh, the more steps back I was taking. So I gave myself permission yesterday to just, um, you know, fart around is what I call it. And it totally worked. So what happened was I got it out of my system in, you know, in a way by indulging my uncreativity or my laziness, I guess. It's not really laziness. It's just, I don't know. Some people might see it as being lazy. Um, I see it as recharging your batteries. So I indulged myself, I uh, went outside, I read a little bit outside, um, I even went shopping, which I don't like, like not shopping, but necessity shopping. Um, and then when I came back, I started watching some shows on the internet. And by, I don't know, 10 o'clock, I guess? Something took me <laughs> from my chair and made me walk to my studio and then I just grabbed this book and this page was, um, it's my watercolor journal, my Strathmore watercolor journal and this page was something that I needed to rework. Um, this Hang on, let me just zoom out a little bit. So this was uh, an attempt at using the um, the Elegant Writer and doing some grapes and, you know, like a grape tree kind of thing. But a palm grape tree. So anyways, but it was a mess. It just turned out it was flooded with water. It was just gross. And not only that, but that quote there, I had misspelled it. Yes, of course, because I that's what I do best. So instead of writing be original, I had written be original. I completely forgot the G and the I. So I crossed out the letters trying to make it like fun. It did not work. So um, last night I walked in here and I looked at the actual project that I needed to finish. While I was trying to figure out what to do, I grabbed my book and I was looking at it. And then I saw this picture that was totally did not look like that. It was, to me, it was a write-off and I thought, okay, let me just see if I can not salvage it, but let, I just want to play. So I had sketched in the background the grapes and the palm tree and whatnot and, you know, the title, which I'll talk about. Um, and so what I did, because this is watercolor, I took the nuance in the color, pur yeah, purple. Okay, so these are pigment powders. And I just sprinkled them on and I'll just show you. See those little grains there? So this is like if I add water on my finger. Hey, look at that. So I took that and I added the powder. Oh, it looks nice. Up close. <laughs> um, I took the powder and I added it over the grays and I also took some green ones and then I just started mucking about, like messing around with the, uh, the powders. And it started covering it up in a nice way. I was still able to see the uh, my sketch behind. So I let that dry, and then um, while this was drying, I was see I was just playing. I was playing with the colors at the bottom, and here I have no idea what this is. It's whatever, it's not important. <laughs> I was just playing with the powders, and then all of a sudden I thought, oh, so now I have a nice kind of like background to this bunch of grapes and so let me take my gelatos and make the grapes like draw the grapes with the gelato and it was fine but because this is watercolor paper it was very textured so I took gesso 
and I blended the gelato with gesso and a stipple brush, like a very uh, stiff brush. And I just started making little circles and I loved it. I loved it. This is what I got. So this is without uh, the outline. Let me just move that out of the way. This is without the, the outline right here. Ah, I'm trying to get used to my new camera, guys, which I don't have a remote for. That's another story. Yeah, so this is without the outline. And this is what I just started doing while I was talking to you. Um, and then how, okay, so the title was of course misspelled. <laughs> so that was another uh, reason why I did not, like this page was a write-off to me. Instead of writing be original, it said be a riddle. And if I remove that sticker, which, oh, here it is. See here? I have the N-A and an L right here, and I made a cross. <laughs> uh, anyways, so what I thought to do was, okay, well, I need to cover those up because there was no way I could recover them. So I used Tim Holtz Ideology uh, seasonal stickers. I don't celebrate many, um, many uh, holidays, so I grabbed the letters that I needed and added them over and it works. Before I did that, however, I added some uh, gray gelato, kind of like worked it with the with the original. The sketching was done with the Elegant Writer, so that's why you're seeing like shades of green and stuff. Uh, and here, some pink and purples. So I added the stickers and it covered it after I'm messed about around the title and I like it. I like it. It adds a very vintagey look to it. So, so this is how I decided to handle my lack of mojo from now on because I found out that the more I try to talk myself out of it, the worse I got and the more angry I got towards myself. And then you get into this trap where you feel down and, oh, you don't know how to get out of it and will I ever be able to? And it's like, you know what? No, I worked hard. Let me just take a breather and um, see where that leads me. I had nothing to lose at that point, really. So I figured it's gonna make or break. And I knew I wasn't going to stop <laughs> um, because I can't not make art and I knew it was going to come back eventually and yes I have deadlines and yes I have promised things but I also promised myself to be good to myself because without myself I can't do anything else <laughs> I need myself <laughs> so yeah that's sorry my pen had stopped working for a minute so that's what I wanted to talk about to you this morning. Um, I have now, I think, <laughs> found my mojo back, which I'm very excited about. And um, tomorrow I have a vlog planned. So um, I'll be back tomorrow. I have to finish this lovely girl. I like her. She <laughs> she looks like the, the Wolverine, you know, with the sideburns. <laughs> She's my Wolverineette. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to work on that. And uh, I think this sketch is done. What do you guys think? I think it's done. Yeah. I'm going to sign my name. And... As my good friend Gigi says, and I'll call it a day. So I am, um, if you have, oh, you know what? I'm not done. I'm gonna take my Posca pen, which I hog like a crazy maniac because we can't find those in our area. And uh, I wanna see if the gelatos are permanent because I added gesso over top. I think it will be. Hmm, it looks like it will be. 
Oh, awesome. Yeah. All right, I don't want to add too much of these either. But I'm liking this. I'll just use this one to test, see if it changes color, then it's, you know, the gelatos are not permanent, but I wonder if it's going to pick up the color. Um, yeah, I don't want to add too much of these. Oops, too big. Yeah, it looks like it's permanent because this is not changing color. Awesome. Hmm. The Posca pen or Poskepen, I don't know what the the right pronunciation is, is by far my favorite white paint pen. Um, Sharpies are fine, but I've never had any of those clog up on me or creating like big blobs. I love this, love this. Okay, I don't want to put any in the middle here because this bunch is kind of recessed. So, here we go. Maybe just that one little one here. Well, I'm liking this page. I really do. This kind of reminds me of like um, a water line with some trees in the far distance, kind of like on a river bank here. I'm not going to add anything to it. I, I, I like it the way it is, but uh, imagine this was selected for trash and I'm totally happy with it. I mean, I kid you not, it was not pretty <laughs> when I started this, but I'm very happy. Anyway, so that is my whole process for how I handle my loss of mojo. I hope that it was helpful to some of you. And um, it's not a foolproof science. It's not, there are no rules for this anyways. But this is how I'm dealing with it. And hopefully... Uh, it will be true for some of you if it's not like try it try what I just did and if it doesn't work then maybe you need to tweak a few things here and there but uh, maybe it's not working on an on finished project or a trashy project but maybe it's just start from fresh with a blank page and just throwing paint at it um, you know but this is how I deal with my loss of mojo I think the most important thing that I retain from this experience from this week is to it's very important for me to give myself permission to be in that funk and just be and not I try to be so angry with myself. I try to be patient. Um, and if you need to procrastinate, lazy about, uh, you know, do sports instead of art, watch TV instead of arting, then maybe that's the thing for you, but you absolutely need to go through that process. It's the way I see it is kind of like mourning. If you don't go through the steps, you you're only delaying um getting better. So for me it's first of all acknowledging that I'm going through this phase and then being patient with myself and giving myself permission to not uh, be such a stickler for rules and not being angry that I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing and then slowly getting back into it without any expectations that's I think is the big um, thing for us artists we're always expecting a lot from ourselves so for me by working on a page that was already um, reserved for trash or not good and not touching it anymore uh that was not so intimidating then um if something good comes out of it 
and maybe you need to do two three more projects instead of just one i hit lucky this time i i liked what i was seeing so maybe uh sometimes it will take me longer but i have faith we're artists and we can't help but play with our toys so that procrastination phase I don't think will ever last too long because we just can't help ourselves we like to get our fingers dirty in paint so yeah on that note I am going to finish this watch the end of the last week's F1 race which I have running in the background on mute I hope that you're gonna have a good productive day and if you don't don't sweat it okay don't sweat it Thanks so much for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below, and I will see you soon later. Bye!